Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and in this video, I wanna show you how you can use Go High Level Custom Values to save you so much time and energy within your business. Now, if you are someone who has clients inside of Go High Level and sub accounts, or even if you're marketing for your own brand, using custom values gives you the ability to quickly change site-wide settings for custom elements with just a few clicks of a button. So this is one of these things where over time, it's just gonna save you an infinite amount of energy. But just before we get started, if it's your first time on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't yet got Go High Level, but you're thinking about it, I've also got an extended 30 day trial as well as a bonus training course. So if you wanna grab those for free, make sure you use the links in the description. Okay, let's go ahead, jump behind the screen and get started. Okay, so here I am inside of my dashboard and what I'm gonna do is give you a very clear explanation of what custom values are and also what custom fields are. Now I know a lot of people have probably heard of what a custom field is. You can put them inside of forms, you can add information into people's contact um, profiles, but it's not exactly the same as a custom field. So let me just show you first of all what a custom field is and then I'll show you the difference between a custom value. So let's just say for an example, I wanted to collect people's Instagram email, uh, accounts, right, their handles or whatever it might be. What I could do is come inside here, add in a new field called Instagram, and then I can add this inside of a form. And what it's gonna do is inside additional info, there is a section where people can add in their Instagram account. Now, the way I see people using custom fields in the most generic possible way is let's just say we ran a campaign, we wanted to know what people's say fitness goals were, if it's a weight loss program, like how much kilos are you wanting to lose, things like that. We could create a custom field saying, you know, weight loss goal, and then you can have a, an amount there, and it's going to show inside of their profile in whichever folder you want it to add. So think of a custom field as a personal attribute to a contact. But when we come to custom values, think of a custom value as something connected directly to the sub account, right? Not just a contact, this is for a sub account. Now the cool thing about this is we can get extremely quick with onboarding clients. We can quickly and easily create sub accounts for clients or it could even be sharing funnels for others by using custom values. And let me show you why. So I've created this quick um, this quick template inside of Go High Level, right? It's one of the ones that they give you inside of the template um, pack. Let's just say I use this template a lot. I've got maybe 100 clients coming in in the next two months, and I need to quickly change things like their brand colors. I need to change maybe their business names, their mottos, you know, whatever their suburb is, everything like that. But to do it all manually is gonna take such a ton of time. Let's just say I wanted to add in a blue here and then change the button to blue, change all these little lines, everything to blue. It's gonna take such a long time. But let's just say I go ahead and create a custom value like I have here. Right, so I just quickly created one. I'll just show you how you can do it. So I'll just put in here secondary value, okay? And then we can put in whatever value we want. So this is going to be a color value. Let's just say it's going to be um, two. So go ahead, click on create. And now we've got this secondary color value we can use. Now you'd obviously do it for primary first. I've already got it here, but let me show you how it works. So let's just say I'll, um, gather this short code, let's go back to the website editor. I'm gonna click on the section where I want the color changed. And here we've got background color. You click on that and what we have here is the basic options. You can also add one if you want, but we can also add in a custom value. So what I'm gonna do is put inside here, primary color, okay? And then I'm gonna paste in this short code. Click on add color and you can see it is now blue. Now you might be thinking, hey, that's cool. You know, you can now quickly come in here and change the colors, you know, not a big deal. Here is where things get exciting. Let's just say you onboarded a new client, you shared the snapshot with all of the assets inside of it. What you could then do is say, hey, okay, your main color is actually going to be, um, I'll just choose one from my color picker so it, it looks okay. Let's just say it's this green. I'm gonna copy that value. I'm gonna paste that in here, click update, and guess what? This page that was once blue, if I go ahead and actually reload the page, you're gonna see because I added in a custom value, this page has now actually turned green. So 
If this isn't exciting you a little bit just yet, let me explain a little bit more. So if you wanted to have your business name here, what you could do is go ahead, create a new custom value. This could be something like company name, or it could be even motto or a punchline. Let's just say we're gonna call it punchline, right? And the punchline could be just the generic one to start with, no pain, no gain. What we'll, what we'll do is we actually just change the order just so you get an idea of how it works. So I'll put in here, no gain, no pain. Okay, and go and click on create. What we could then do is go grab this new custom value, which is punchline, okay, paste it inside here, right, like so, and I'll go ahead, click on save. Now, if I just reload the page, so every time you add in a custom value, you wanna add in, uh, you wanna save it and then reload it just for the value to actually appear. So I'll just reload this now, and you will see that it should change. And it looks like it hasn't, but actually when you go and open it in a new window, this is the live version, it will show that it has gone the other way. So this is really cool because instead of having to go through, change everything manually every time you onboard a new client, what you could do is create a form, think of all the different customizations that you'd actually need to do inside of a website. Could be open hours, it could be you know emergency contact or out of hours phone, it could also be services, gym trainers, gym trainer mottos, could be your motto. You could custom value the heck out of any of these pages and then just send a simple questionnaire with all of these questions inside of it to your client and then every time you get a new client just send over the new snapshot and then just quickly change all of these and it will change the entire website so one time just to show you once more how it would work let's just say we're going to change this to um, your personal best every time something like that click update we'll also change inside of here in the primary color Right, we'll change that to a nice looking, um, maybe a nice yellow. It's probably gonna look terrible, but it's just more to give you an example of how it works, okay? And these custom values can be used everywhere. And I'm talking inside of um, emails and everything like that, which is actually a good point. I'm gonna run you through in just a sec, but we'll reload this page one more time just to show you how it looks, okay? So a few changes and it's changed everything. So if I really wanted to get super custom, I could have a custom value for the background, for the logo, I could have it for all the colors, I could have it for, you know, the, like pretty much every single part of it, I could have custom values, and then every time I onboard a client, I just simply gather all the information in a form, update it in custom values, and then you can go ahead and build a new website for that client, you know, within minutes. It's absolutely crazy. Now there is one more thing I want to show you about custom values and that's actually going to be inside of emails. Now the reason you want to do this is if you are testing or if you have a lot of employees things like that and you've built out so many different automations and let's just say your email strategy is using the automation builder right and let's just say you've typed in people's names manually so let's just say it's from Phil let's say the emails from this for example everything like that and then all of a sudden you have to change it. It could be this person's left or your email address has changed. Maybe you've even rebranded. You're going to have to go through every single email or inside of the settings and change it. It's a little bit of a hassle. But what you could do instead is create these custom values. So from email address. So instead of adding in um, the email address directly into each one, you could just add in this custom value. And instead of sending out um Instead of having to change every uh, name and every email inside of your emails, you could actually just change this one thing and it's going to be site-wide. It's gonna change it everywhere where this short code is embedded. I hope that makes sense, but this is honestly just gonna save you so much time in the long run. It's just a very smart way that you can actually build out all your automations, all your websites, everything like that, and down the track, you're just gonna save hours and hours and weeks and days and months and everything like that. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna dig into it a lot more. I've only just really figured it out. It's really just clicked a light bulb and I'm absolutely hooked.
So that is how custom values work. As you can see, it will save you a lot of time, especially if you are onboarding clients using the same sort of funnel templates, or even if you're like me, you like to create snapshots to give away for people like you know your students or people you mentor. Just having these custom values will allow you to completely build out these entire assets for them in a crazy short amount of time versus having to slave through each section and change everything manually. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Go High Level custom value tutorial. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe and check out my description for a ton of free value, things like free funnels, as well as other bits and pieces. Go ahead and have a little look. But that's it. My name is Phil. This is Funnel Scene and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.